Welcome, you magnificent fucks, to my favourite albums of all time. That's right, my top 50. I don't know if it's that way, this way, who fucking cares? My top 50 albums of all time. Now, I've done this before, about two years ago. I'll show it on the screen, wherever it is. Look at that little fuckhead. So innocent in the ways of music. But here we are today, two years fucking later. Two whole years. You know, my hair's fallen off. We got a new mascot. What, wait, who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing? Meltdown has his chompy. We have our birdie. That's right. You can call him Black Asshole as well. You can call him February Fuck Nuts. You can call him whatever the fuck you want. But acknowledge him in the chat. Everyone say hello, birdie, in the chat. Because birdie's here to stay. He's gonna be long for the ride. We got a new mascot. We got a new look. The channel's changed to mainly black metal. What's going on in these two years? It's diabolical. But yeah, we're here to talk about my top 50 albums of all time, and just like every good reboot, you know, Ghostbusters 1, Anchorman 2, Dumb and Dumber 2, they're, they're all, you know, they're all classics, right? They're all fucking classics. This is going to be another one in that long line of shit sandwiches, and let's all taste it. Let's fucking taste this shit sandwich and see how good it is, because my taste has changed drastically, so I'll put the link in the description for my old one so you can check it out, see how much it's changed from this, because it's changed quite a bit. Quite a bit. So that'll be in the description below, and again, let me know your favourite albums of all time. Doesn't have to be 50, that's a long list, but if you want to do it, you want to be autistic as me, you, you want to fucking, you want to be autistic as me, put it down in the comments below, but 10 is good enough. 10, 5, 1, you could just say 1. It's all gravy. But let's get on with it, the last video of the year. My top 50 albums of all time. Number 50. Right. So, number 50, kicking off with one which wasn't on the list, and a band I've been binging a lot recently, Amorphous with Skyforger. Holy, suck my nuts dry. This is an amazing album. Amorphous don't do anything wrong on any of their albums, really. There's a couple of the mid ones which I'm not as big into, but then they kind of pick up pace again, and from this out, from Silent Waters onwards, really, they just hit a stride. It's just so good, and this album is my favourite. Silver Bride is just a classic sampo. Like, every song on this album has melodic parts, it has beautiful parts. The singing by Tommy, mwah, mwah, chef's kiss. And I can't wait to see them live this, well, 2023. So, fucking love Amorphous. Definitely making this list. You want some whores? You, you want a whore? Because we got a whore of Bethlehem right here. Archgoat, whore of Bethlehem. Archgoat, the coolest album covers with the red and the black. I love that aesthetic. Kind of rocking it here, ish, ish, ish. Love all the album covers, and this is just my favourite album by the band. Furious, fast, it's in that war metal style, but I think it sounds a bit better than Blasphemy. So you might not see Blasphemy here, even though I love Blasphemy, but I prefer Archgoat. You know, people have tastes. It's like assholes. Everyone's an asshole. And everyone has taste. Yeah, Archgoat, Whore of Bethlehem. There you go. This is your obligatory whore of the day. Time for an old man's child. Old man's child, the pagan prosperity, which is a spoiler for the upcoming fucking ranking. But who cares? It's here. It's one of my favourites. I've been loving this melodic black metal band recently. Holy shit, every album slaps. There's not a single dud in their catalogue. It's ridiculous. It's my favourite black melodic black metal band. And this album is just has those folky elements, but still keeps in the melodicism and improves on everything the debut did. Like, improves on it tenfold. So, fuck yeah, Pagan Prosperity. It's icy, it's cold, and it makes me want to come. All right, time for some Death Doom. Now, switching gears to some <laughs> Never Cross the Dead, Hooded Menace. That's right, my favourite Hooded Menace album. House of the Hammer. Ooh, how sexy is that? You got those evil zombie-like um, vocals, the fucking cool-ass riffs. It, it's so like slow lumbering zombie walking towards you, ready to just grab your neck and rip your arteries out. Nom, 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 nom. That's what it's like. I love it. You should too. If you don't, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Quick sippy. Ah. Right. <laughs> what have we got next? Battle Dagoroth, Abyss Horizons. Yes! I love my cosmic black metal. I'll be a video on that in the new year. You know, I'll be a video on that again. 
Love it, and Abyss Horizons is just a fantastic trip through the cosmos. Battle Day Groff, underrated as fuck. If you like stuff like Dark Space, Magnetum, <laughs> you might see that later, then you there's no reason you wouldn't love Battle Day Groff. And if you've never heard of them, go check them out, because they will send your balls to space. <laughs> It'll suck them like a vacuum. Next pick. Hail, hail to England, Manowar, hail to England. That's right. My current favourite Man of War album. I know in my ranking it was uh, Fighting the World, which is still fantastic. Like, I blow your speakers with rock and roll. Sorry. Rock and roll! But Hail to England just has better, better songs on. Just a more well-rounded package, I could say. I hate them or loathe them. Um, wait, those two are the same things, Questy, you numb nut. What do you think about it? What do you think about it, Birdie? Tell 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 us what you think about Manowar. <laughs> Manowar, sure, the shirtless, sure, the the radiating gay energy, gay energy, but the fucking second, I love them. <laughs> Is that a bad thing that the radiant gay energy? No, it, it's fucking good, good manly testosterone up the wazoo. I love this album. You should too. Fucking listen to it. Did I say manly up the wazoo? Next is Rhapsody Legendary Tales. Look at the album cover. Wherever I've put it. A naked, barbarian, Conan-looking motherfucker on a horse. Riding to fight just dragons. How can you not love this? Power metal. Again. Well, I guess Man of War's more heavy metal, but it's in the power metal vein. But Legendary Tales, holy shit in my anus. And call me Susan, this is some sexy-ass power metal. Every song is catchy. Every hook is memorable. The, um... The new classical elements, so goddamn good. The shredding, amazing. Fabio's vocals, oh, so goddamn gravy. I love this album. I love all their albums, but this one to me, at the moment, in this moment in time, is my fucking favourite. So it's here. There is no god but the one true god. Nile, those whom the gods detest. I love it. Hitati, dung incantation, with those kind of like, oh, and it just goes into fucking chaos and you just imagine people throwing shit everywhere and ripping each other apart. Nile is a brutal death metal band. Technical death, whatever you want to call it. It's heavy as balls and they have an Egyptian motif and they're one of my favourites. One of my favourite um, death metal bands of all time and it's got to make it on this list. Kafir. Kafir! Alu Akbar! <laughs> when he screams that, you got to scream it along with him. you just got to. This video is going to be demonetised as fuck. But we knew that. I love this fucking album. Um, we are they whom the gods detest. I could just keep singing songs. Day gone. Arr, arr. Let's move on. Questy's gone mad. Caledon Brood, Echoes of Battle. Some epic black metal now. Uh, in the vein of like a summoning Galibrade, which you may see later. Caledon Brood is just a phenomenal band. And they've only made one album. What the fuck is that about? Make more. Whore. Make fucking more. Your king demands it. If you want to be riding out into battle, the plains of Rohan, like some Lord of the Rings type shit, you'll love this. you got those kind of epic, it's an epic feeling album, and you feel like you're in the thick of it. So, yeah, it's good. You want something crazy? You want something a bit wild? Deathspell Omega's Paracletus, that's correct. we got this little fucker on the list. Insane, dissonant, crazy, avant-garde, mayhem, black metal. You know Deathspell, they're a household name. They have so many good albums I could have picked. <laughs> and loads of EPs as well. Sorry, let me just take a sip from my, um... Don't fall over, fuckhead. Mmm. Blacker than the blackest black times infinity. Yeah, Paracletus is the combination of all the works is the most chaotic the most crazy and i love it for that so yeah death spells paracletus it's gotta make it here sorry banger tv sorry time for some baffery i think it's time for some baffery blood fire death always been my favorite it's always there for me you know it's got those long songs fine day to die the title track and then you got all the fast furious ones as well the cool riffs cool melodies if i don't have baffery on here then you're just going to have to fucking lynch me. That's what you're going to have to do. But it's here, so don't do that. Put your ropes down, you fucking bastards. Put your ropes down. Time for a feast. 
Yum, yum, yum. How about a sprinkle of evil on this soup? Evil feast? What was I doing then? Um, <laughs> someone should uh, make a top ten cringe um, questy moments. I feel like Trenches would be good at that because every video he does is cringe. Hi, Trenches. <laughs> um, yeah. Evil Feast. St st what the fuck is the called again? Elegies of the Stellar Wind. That's right. I never remember fucking titles. Evil Feast, one of the best atmospheric black metal bands. It's got that raw atmosphere and production. It's got the crazy screaming. It's just so serene, though. It has all those things, but it makes it so serene. I don't know how. Usually I'm into the more folky pagan kind of side of the stuff, or the cosmic side, but Evil Feast just has something just raw and... <sighs> dare I say it, evil, about the music that I just adore, so Evil Feast, Elegies of the Stellar Wind, it's, it's a masterpiece, masterpiece. Time to get depressing on your bum bum, Skepticism with Stormcrow Fleet, this is like the perfect Funeral Doom album, it's not my favourite, but I'd say it's the perfect one. Soon as someone says, what's Funeral Doom, I'd hand them a copy of Stormcrow Fleet, because it's that sorrowful, that meaningful, that heavy that heavy and the production's so goddamn good. Some people don't like it, but they can stick this finger in their ass. Um, I love it. I think it's just so, so, such a mournful album. Such a mournful album. Just like Mournful Congregation. But yeah, love skepticism, but this is the magnum opus by the band Funeral Doom. Oh, it's so good. Time for some melodic black again with Lord Belial's Enter the Moonlight Gate. Enter the Moonlight Gate. <laughs> Into the Moonlight Gay. Um, Into the Moonlight Gate is one of the best melodic black metal albums of all time. It just it just fucking is. Got cool female vocals as well, great melodies, great atmosphere. You feel like you're there at the bluish fucking gates, ready to unleash your load all over it. That's how it feels when you're listening to this album. That's what I like. <laughs> it's got this bluey nature that I love. And I, I want to listen to it right now. I could have picked loads of others by the band. Um, Kiss the Goat. Not the Go-Goat. -Goat. Well, that's fun as well, but Kiss the Goat's pretty cool. Cool and some of the newer stuff as well. But this one, for me, easily best. Ah, it's time for more sorrow with Loss and Despond. Loss has a couple of albums and they're all fan fucking tastic but Despond has always been my favourite. Again, it brings that sorrow, that melancholy, that just beautiful beautifulness that makes a tear to your Jap's eye or your normal eye. It just makes tears everywhere. There's just fucking lube everywhere. I love it. I I want to listen to it right now, but Funeral Dooms, I love Funeral Doom, but it is a time and a place kind of music. You can't just throw it on any time. Or can you? Most people you can't. But yeah, when it hits, it hits fucking hard, and this album's perfect. All right, changing gears to something fast and furious, Abzu with the son of Tiferif, the coolest fucking art. Like this warrior on the album cover, you want him on your side in a fucking battle, on a gang warfare. You got the Bloods and Crips fighting each other, shooting each other. You want this guy running around chopping each other's balls off. That's what you want. This motherfucker right here on the rock. Such a good album. Fast, furious, long songs, kind of proggy, kind of, well, not really, but... There's long songs, it's intricate, so I think it's good. More interesting than debut, and more thrashy than the later stuff. It's a perfect balance. Son of Tifrith. I've been binging it a lot recently, so yeah. Son of Tifrith. It's a good. Time for some Judas Priest, Defenders of the Faith. Gotta have some Priest up in here, and this is just the best. Just the best album for me. Even the second half, I love it. Even the title track. A lot of people don't love it, but I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You can keep your painkillers, I don't care. I like the 70s stuff, the 80s stuff. Um, this is easily my favorite. Fucking free wheel burning, diddle ding diddle ding Some heads are gonna roll, love bites. Fucking the Sentinel, the fucking Sentinel. Every song's a masterpiece, every song's catchy. Priest is one of the best bands ever, so yeah, fuck you, this album's amazing. Time to get crazy with the tenth sub-level of suicide by Leviathan. Leviathan, this um, depressive suicidal black metal band, who is my favourite, and they kind of changed gears later on, kind of uh, becoming a bit more experimental, which I also love. Scar Sight is fantastic, but for me, tenth sub-level is always going to hit it. It's, it feels like some creature in a cavern, just crawling towards you, 
and you, there's no way out. There's no fucking way out. The walls are closing in. This creature's getting closer and closer and ready to rip your guts out with its teeth and sharp claws. That's how this album feels. I love the dread of it. And I want to experience it again and again. Time for another sippy. Because we're talking about Winterland. Welcome to my last chapter, which is a bloody masterpiece. You've probably seen the album cover. Show up on YouTube recommendations. Kind of pink, purpley kind of thing. And you're kind of like, what the hell's going on here? This doesn't even look like black metal. But then you listen to it and you're like, this is one of the best black metal albums of all fucking time. The melodicism within. Oh my God. It's so juicy. I adore it. It's very calm as well. Not in the musical sense, but like it makes you calm listening to it. That similar kind of atmospheric stuff, which is the bands I love. Um, so if you love, and if you love black metal as a whole, listen to it. Just fucking listen. You love low oil, listen to it. You love Abzu, a bit different style, but listen to it anyway. Vinterland, welcome to my last lap. Welcome to my last slapter, is amazing, and yeah, that's all I can say for it. It's amazing. Go give it a listen. Whoa, what's that, birdie? You want to talk about some controversial black metal? Okay then, it's on you. Satanic War Master is next, and controversy aside, they're not even that controversial, to be honest. And the, in the thick of it, I don't give a flying fuck. Uh, he doesn't give a flying fuck, he can fly, and he doesn't give fucks. Because he's a virgin, and he's a little beta bitch, aren't you? That's right, he, he's gonna slap the shit out of me for that. Satanic War Master Karelian Satanist Madness is a masterpiece of an album, and it's higher than a lot of others because it's just that goddamn fucking good. The riffs in it. The melodies within, his screaming, Werewolves are genius, all Satanic War Master albums are amazing, it's one of my favourite bands of this style, this raw kind of black metal style. This one is a must have, must listen, perfect as fuck. Um, there'll be some bitches in the comments saying like, oh you can't promote them, why the fuck not? Tell me why. Tell me why. Da, 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 da. I love them, they're coming here on this list, I've ranked them on the channel before. Meant I got the fucking shirt, so I really don't give a shit. I'd see them live. I really want to see them live. They'd be fucking amazing. So yeah, don't give a shit. It's here. Suck it. Time for some severed heads, yeah? Vanitas, and now Nafrak. Completely opposite sides of the spectrum. Vanitas is just fucking bonkers. Holy shit, industrial, experimental, black, grindcore. It's got everything within, and the screams, holy shit in my balls. It's amazing. Like, the scream at the end of, um, I've forgotten the fucking name of the song, but the scream at the end of the second song, oh my god, is, lasts for fucking at least ten minutes, it's ridiculous. Um, I could have put in the Constellation Black Widow, which is also good and almost my favourite, but Vanitas has always been there, got the shirt, got the album, I adore it, the songs are insane, if you want it pure insanity for black metal, this is the album for you, go give it a listen. Now for some catatonia with last fair deal gone down. Sorrowful gothic doom. You could say gothic, I don't know, progressive doom. Dispossession is my favourite songs of all time. It's so sad to see Dispossession. It's become my obsession. Oh my god, I love the lyrics. Ah! Jonas. Uh. Excuse me. Jonas is one of my favourite vocalists of all time. Actually, no, is my favourite. His voice could fucking soothe anyone into a slumber. Like... It could make anyone stand up. You know, make my soldier stand up, Jonas. I adore it. Um, Sweet Nurse is just the most depressing song I've ever fucking heard. Chrome, we must bury you so deep that no one will find you. This album's amazing. I adore it. So does Birdie over here. Catatonia, so many good albums. This is my favourite. Carrying on with the Doom kind of feel. Songs from the North. Ah, <sighs> Songs from the North. It's always between this and New Moon, but Songs from the North has three discs, one a Death Doom album, one Funeral Doom, and one more, just, not acoustic, but clean singing, where it's all clean singing and nice songs, kind of like a Damnation Deliverance thing, like Opeth. Holy fucking shit, the amount of mm, sorrow and meaningful moments in each second of the songs is just beautiful. Heart, shings, heart strings shattering. Ah. <sighs> In these songs from the north. I adore it. It's beautiful. The singing, just hair standing on end. If you don't know Saw the Sun, similar to Catatonia, which is why they're kind of similar on the list. 
And this album's a bloody 10 out of 10. Fucking love it. Go listen to it if you have time for free albums, because it is like a free album affair. Give it a whirl. Coliseum, Delirium 1. <sighs> yeah. Coliseum is another Funeral Doom band, which is underrated as fuck. This band, just kind of like EA. Fuck, I forgot to put them on the list. Doi, Coliseum, probably I like it more anyway. This is this heavy fucking Funeral Doom. Like, the riff just thunderous in the sky thunderous fucking riffs and that's what you want funeral doom is the heaviest music i'm gonna go out and say it you might think brutal death you might think slam no funeral doom is because those riffs hit and they fucking shatter the sky with how amazingly heavy those riffs are and those vocals and you can't be heavier you could do pig squeals but that's kind of corny not quite as evil or heavy funeral doom is the heaviest this is a heavy fucking album i adore it amazing band I just want to jizz over it right now. Time to sing along. Somewhere far beyond your reality. Questy, you just did a Blind Guardian ranking and you put fucking Nightfall top. And now you're swapping it again. It's always between these two. Always has been. Somewhere far beyond though. <sighs> Sex hair. Um, it doesn't have all the stupid interludes in. So yeah, I'm going to give it the edge. Um, I got the shirt for it as well. Somewhere Far Beyond the Song, amazing. Time, what is time? Like, every song, the Bard song. Ding, 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 Now you all know Questy and his thongs. I love it. I love it. It's it's amazing. Sing alongable. The band live is fantastic. This album is pure ecstasy. And I want more. Time for some bolt thrower. Some death metal with those once loyal. Was for um, Crusade for a while. I do like that. Um, I could put Warmaster and shit, but no, the newest one. The newest one just has the songs that get stuck in my head more. The more I've listened to the band, this has been my favourite. Um, At Dawn's First Light. Holy fuck nuts. Anti-tank dead armour with that bass. Oh, I gotta listen to it again. You got a headbang, you got thrash to it, you got mosh to it. Bolt thrower. It's it's beautiful, and it's one of my favourite albums of all fucking time. Time for some spacey Thrashy black metal. You say I say black metal, only in the vocal sense. Vector with terminal redux. Long songs, insane shredding, like oh my god, the shredding on here is ridiculous. The most insane screaming you've ever fucking heard. Like it feels like he's been just like his nuts have been crushed by the fists of God. And he's just like, <laughs> that's how amazing it is. Spacey vibe, crazy vocals, crazy melodies, amazing shredding. It's one of the, probably my favorite thrash band of all time. So there you go, Vector, Terminal Redux. It's a beautiful album. Now for Gallobraid, another one with us. One album, just like Caledon Brood. This is atmospheric black metal perfected. This is a 10. This is a goddamn 10. I know it's not higher on my list. It should be. I don't know why it isn't. It's a fucking 10. The mood, the melodies, it's like folky, pagany, black metal. The screams, it's all perfected. For fans of Moon Sorrow, for fans of Callum Brood, fans of Druk, this is the album for you. Gallibraid, I can't, I can't praise it enough. Ash's Eidolon is literally a must-have in any collection. If you don't have it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Go fucking get it right now. Christy be very mad, and Birdie will peck your eyes out. Mm. Tell me why I had to be a power slave. Power slave is next. That's right. It was between Power Slave and Brave New World, as it always is, and today Power Slave wins. Where I'm the Ancient Mariner is my favourite maiden song. Power Slave is one of the best songs ever written. Uh, Back in the Village is fantastic. Flash the Blade. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Fucking. <laughs> Um, what's the other fuck? The Duelist has a great solo. Two minutes to midnight. Ace is fucking high. Holy. S- stop the presses. This album is flawless. Adore it. Power Slave, my favourite Maiden album. It's coming here. Time for some Blute House Nords. Um, Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Ultima Fule. Always been my favourite. It's got this icy atmosphere, this raw energy. It is the debut of a lot of people. I mean, you could pick any for Blue Arsenal. The newest album is my album of the year. The newest album is my album of the fucking year. The crazy melodies I could put Hallucinogen, the spacey vibe, because you know I love that. And that's my second favourite. But no, Ash's Eidolon just has this atmospheric 
black metal to a T, icy cold, the most iciest cold black metal album you could ever have. That's right, the most iciest cold one you could have. <sighs> I love it so much. Time for an interesting one, Aquilus with Bellum 1. I could pick Greasiest, but for me, Bellum 1's better. Should have been my album of the year. Hindsight's 2020. I adore this album. The mix of classical music with like Opeth vibes and black metal, atmospheric black metal. Are you trying to give me an aneurysm? <laughs> this is amazing. This is absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. If that sounds good to you, that mix, that trio, that cacophony of fucking beautifulness, then yeah, go give it a listen because it's serene, it's amazing, and the silence works just as well as the heavy parts. Like the beautiful sections, the acoustic sections, just as good. Hits the nail on the head. Time for some enslaved. Do da da do. Ba do ba do ba do. Below the lights, the perfect mix of prog and black for me. The perfect mix. As fire swept clean below the earth. Oh. Yep. Um, it just perfects it. I love Frost. I love Viking Lavelle. got the fucking vinyl. I love um, a lot of the proggy stuff. Retire is a fucking amazing album. Elt, fantastic. But Below the Lights is just the perfect middle ground. And a lot of people say that for Maradrum. Good for you. You know, you're entitled to like whatever you want. You don't have to parrot what this twat says. I like what I like. You like what you like. I don't give a shit. I love this album. It's my favourite. Fucking here. Time for more spacey shit. Ominous Doctrines of Perpetual Mystical Macrocosm. By Inquisition, that's right. Inquisition's gotta be here somewhere. It's just what album, and for me, I like the later stuff more. Some people like the early stuff more, like Bryce, and some people are Discord. Satanic as well. And the early stuff's fucking amazing. I adore the early stuff. I adore every single um, Inquisition album. For me, Ominous Doctrines, Black Mass from Mass Grave, these are the ones that just, whew, they knock my socks off every fucking time. Holy ball sacks. The first song just instantly puts you in a trance, and you're there the entire way through. Black metal. Oh. Stop burping. Black metal perfection. Inquisition. Love it. Speaking of black metal, this one may piss people off, and this is a good time for the Raven. Um, so, hey birdie. How you doing? You, you having fun in this, this video so far? Is it just as schizophrenic as always? That's a nod. That means y that means we. We we. Monsieur? Yeah, anyway, why did I get the Raven out? Oh yeah, because we're talking about Cradle of Filth. Cruelty and the Beast. Of course we're talking about Cruelty and the Beast. It's the best Cradle album. I got the fucking flag right there. I adore it. It got me into black metal. The band that got me into black metal. And I'm not one of these pussy-ass motherfuckers who just instantly passes them off because they're not as cult. They're not as evil as the rest of them. That's some poser-ass bitches. I got into black metal through this band and I'll always like them, just like I'll always like Metallica. I got into metal as a whole through Metallica. I still love them. I still love the first five albums. Even the Black Album. Still good. Obviously I don't listen to it as much as these albums, because these are my favourite, but I still respect them and I still enjoy them just like Cradle. Love all their albums. The newest one's amazing as well. So, yeah, fuck you. Fuck the haters. Um, Cradle's great and Cruelty's so good. Cruelty brought, Cruelty brought the Orchids, fucking 30 Mordoms and a Widow, or, or so many good stuff. More, whore, more, twitching wake me wet with thee, cockers rub me raw. So good, so good. It's melodramatic, yeah, but fun as fuck. It's time for some brrrtsum, brrrtsum. Debut, always been my favourite Burtsum album. It's more punchy, it's in your face, it's raw, it's just... I know it lacks the atmosphere and I'm more an atmospheric guy, but there's something about the debut that just catches me. This is, wow! How many times have I talked about Burtsum on this channel? It's, it feels like I've talked about them hundreds of goddamn times. It's even in my waifu tier list. What a vague that little waifu motherfucker. Yeah, I love Burzum, and this, the debut's always been my favourite, so it's fucking here. <laughs> summoning Time, Old Morning's Dawn is my favourite summoning album now. It was Stronghold. Kind of got bored of Stronghold now, though. I've been listening to it way too fucking much, so that's lower down on my list. But Old Man is Dawn, oh my god, that crosses the perfect pagan shit with the epic black metal that you know and love from Summoning. So, mixture of my two favourite kind of styles, and it's glorious. Holy shit. Especially the song Old Morning's Dawn. Listen to it right now. Stop my video. You don't want to listen to this fucking retard. Go listen to Old Morning's Dawn. It's way better use of your time. Do it. Questy says. Ah, 
one of the best black metal albums of all time, Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk by Emperor. Yes, In the Nightside is amazing. Yes, so is Prometheus. Underrated as fucking fuck. It's a more proggy album, but it's underrated. Equilibrium's good as well. But Anthem's always there for me. Anthem's is the best. It's more crazy, chaotic, bombastic. It feels like you're in a fucking insane warfare. Like, shit's flying everywhere. Trumpets blasting. Bombs going off. That's how insane this feels. I love Anthem's The Welcome at Dusk. It's so goddamn good. And that's why it's here. Next up is... That's right. Um, fiddly nipple time. It is Mercognitum with Solar Paroxysm. I did have Luminous Aether. Luminiferous Aether? That's right. As my favourite, and that's still fantastic. All the albums are fantastic. Um, but Solar Paroxysm has just rose in the ranks. It's a no, more recent one, but every song is just packed with atmospheric cosmic goodness. This is more cosmic black metal it's to the stars, it has that same kind of atmosphere, you can be floating off into space listening to this, just avoid the black holes, avoid them. Yeah, Meko one of my favourite bands of all time, and of course it's on this fucking list. Next up is also Spectral Law, which is another spacey black metal band, who would have funked it with Free? This album is just majestic as fuck, I could have done show and tell because I've got most of these fucking albums right there, I'm not going to though. Because I'll stand up and you'll see I'm not wearing any pants. But yeah, it's free by Spectral Law. Just as cosmic, just as beautiful, just as atmospheric. They kind of go hand in hand, which is why they got a split. Which may see later. But yeah, um, I love Spectral Law as you should too. Ah, Nocturnal Mortem. Pagan Black Men are my fa one of my favourite kinds. Um, Lunar Poetry. The original, I do like the uh, remake as well. I think it's fantastic, but I always listen to the original, so that's what I'm going with here. Um, it's more of a demo, but I don't give a shit. It's like fucking 50 minutes long anyway, so screw you. <sighs> another Icy Cold album. Another album with just so many good melodies. The melodies on here. Fuck me. Fuck me running. Actually, that's not an invitation, because I know Wharfdale in the chat. Bean Man, he's, he'll try it. My asshole is sealed tight, all right? Um, you ain't getting near. But yeah, um, I love Lunar Poetry. Nocturnal Mortal is one of my favourite bands of all time. I could have picked... I could have picked the fucking Voice of Steel. Holy nutsack. I could have picked Goat Horns, which is close to being my favourite. But no, Lunar Poetry has always been there for me. It's always got that icy atmosphere like Ultima Thule and stuff like that. And I'll always love it. You know, I'll always... Won't I, birdie? That's right. I am gay. Time for some merciful fate. Don't break the oath. Oh, boy. King D's vocals just make you D a king. <laughs> oh, I adore this album. I adore Melissa. I adore all the fucking out. Oh, in the Shadows as well. Underrated as fuck. But Don't Break the Oath as just the best songs on. My God. Come, come to the stab of... I saw Merciful Fate live this year. So glad I did. Knocked out of the park. One of my favourite live experiences in my entire life. King D nails it. And this is just a 10 out of 10 album. Time for some Wind Deer with Arnt Arntor. I think it's Arntor. I keep saying Artnor, but I think it's Arntor. Yeah, I finally said it right. Yes. English vocabulary. Vocabulary. Ah, piss off. Right. Arntor. Ar Artnor. Artnor. By Windy is just the perfect pagan folky black metal album. Atmospheric, beautiful, greatest riffs. The song Art Noir and Warrior is one of the greatest black metal songs of all time. Just like Old Mon is Dong, I'm gonna say it again. Stop this fucking video. Listen to Art Noir or Warrior. You will thank me for it. You will bloody thank me for it. This this album is supreme. This album is it is, is another 10. I adore it. We're getting close to the end now, and all these are just magical for me. And this one is... 1184, almost got it, but... Ah, oh, no. Fuck me. So good. Evoken Antithesis of Light. Oh, my God. We're going to go to depressing, creepy, fucking unsettling funeral doom now with this album, which feels like you're stuck in the catacomb. There's skeletons all around you. You can't get out. It's like in the catacombs of Paris, and you're lost... That's the feeling of this album. Dread, despair, just contemplating taking your own life. 
that is this album. It's beautiful. I fucking love it. Funeral Dooms are my favorite out um, genres of all time, and this album just personifies it. And there's one even better coming soon. But first, we got Kelly De Loon by Alcest. That's right. I do love some black gays, and Alcest is just the best. I love them. Every single album. Spiritual Instinct. Oh my god, so good. But Kelly De Loon is my favorite. Kelly De Loon Part 2. Oh my god. The mixture of the screams, the harsh, harrowing scream by Niche, who's a fucking vocal master, saw Alice's live this year as well, and Niche gave me goosebumps. It's the only band I've had goosebumps with. You know how crazy that is? The vocals pierced my soul. That's how good they are. Niche is one of the best black male vocalists of all time. He just fucking is. On Peste Noir and Alcest, you know, and anything else he splits on. He was on the fucking Sayor. Uh, album Forgotten Legends and he fucking nailed that as well and he was on Harakiri for this okay stop simping over niche fuck what I love Alcest and this is one of my favourite albums of all time I uh, nothing more I can say nothing more I can say if you like Black Gaze you like stuff like Death Heaven give this a listen because it kicks the shit out of Death Heaven I'm sorry I like Death Heaven but this kicks the shit out I love Alcest like top 5 bands easily fuck you love it Dark Space Free Dark Space has a flawless discography of only four albums. Give me a fifth so I can rank you, you bastards. Free, though, has always been the one with the best melodies in. It's always been the one that's just the most atmospheric, the most interesting, the most engaging. One's close, but the most terrifying. But Free is just so goddamn glorious. This is very raw, static -y kind of cosmic blackmail. It's a bit different to Mare Cognit, a bit different to Spectre of Law. It's more like you're... On the Is SS Ishimura, I think that's the one from Dead Space. Static, you're lost in space and these creepy aliens are ready to get you. That's this album. It's terrifying as fuck. Like stuff like A Kills. And um, what other terrifying music are there? Blue House Nord and shit like that. Give Dark Space a listen. Some of the best cosmic black metal you'll ever fucking hear. And carrying on with that theme, Wanderer's Astrology of the Nine. The split between Mako Neatum and Spectral Law. That's right, I had them both on it. And now we got the split. Two discs of fucking furious black metal. Oh my god. It's cosmic again. You know, I love my cosmic shit. I get boner over that stuff. It's levitating. Each song represents a planet. They're all over 10 minutes long. Some are 15 minutes. It's a two hour album. <laughs> You're in for a ride. Pluto's even split into two parts where they both perform on it. Masterclass in black metal. A masterclass in black metal. It's... I'm lucky I have the album, to be honest. <laughs> I'm lucky I've got it. Um, what can I say? Mixture of both these styles. If you like them, you'll know you love this album. I do. And that's why it's fucking here. Four albums left. Four albums left. Number four, The Funeral Doom I was speaking of before. Esoteric, The Maniacal Veil. Oh baby. Oh baby. This is like you're falling into that swirling vortex in the album cover. Deeper and deeper into the abyss until only the void remains. That's right. Blackness, like, blacker than you. And you're a fucking blackbird or a raven. I, I think a raven. But you're black, so fucking sit there. I love this album. It is just as terrifying as Antiphasis of Light. Just as just dark and evil and moody. Fucking love it. It's just, it brings out all the worst emotions in the listener. But that's the shit I like. Despair, sorrow, melancholy. Those are the feelings I enjoy. You know, those are the feelings I enjoy. So, this is easily one of my favourite albums of all time. And easily taking the fourth spot on my albums list. Here it comes. Are you ready? Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready for this one? I hope you're ready. Tighten your assholes. Pucker them up, suckers. Because number three... That's right, still fucking life. Oh my god. It's not my number one of all time anymore. What the fuck? I adore it. Still one of my favorite albums of all time, which is why it's number three. But it's dropped. It has dropped. But yeah, that's not to take away from it. It is amazing and opus for my favorite bands. This album, great concept album. The More, starting off strong. Face of Melinda, those riffs. Serenity Painted Death. It's all good. It's all good. It's a 10. It's a perfect album. It's my favourite Opeth album. Some people say it's overrated. You can say whatever the fuck you want. I'll still enjoy it. 
And still number three, the crowd goes wild. What's going to be number two and one? There is some albums I haven't mentioned yet. You probably, I'll guess it down below. Some anticipation. Guess it down below. See what my number one is. Number two, it's Whaley. It is called The Wretched Sea by Ahab. Oh my God, Ahab's snuck in. I've been listening to it for a couple of years now. Not as long as Still Life, but almost there now and it's just overtaking it like the heavy thunderous riffs the creaking of the boat the splashing of the waves it's like ramming the inch of mariner which is my favorite maiden song into a full fucking album of that shit i love it i love it funeral doom again one of my favorite genres but ahab just does it different um if you think it's too boring give it a fucking whirl because it's usually the album that gets people into the genre it got me into the genre so give it a whirl call the wretched sea feels like you are although captain ahab Fighting Moby Dick, you're ready to sh plunge your dick into his fucking blowhole and fuck him silly. That's what it's like. I love it. I want to fuck this album silly. And here it comes down to it. Let's have another little sippy. Ah, victory sip. We're getting to the end of our new top 50 albums of all time. Hopefully you guys have had fun. Let me know again what albums are your favourites because today my favourite album of all time and it has been this year, is my band I've mentioned a lot recently, band that had an album out this year. They are black metal. It's Druk. Blood in Our Wells is my favourite album of all time. That's right. Shocker. I adore it. Again, folky, pagan, black metal, atmospheric black metal, fairly raw, emotional, crazy screaming, beautiful messages, beautiful instrumentation. It has it all. It's amazing. It's my favorite black metal band. And seeing as though black metal's like my favorite genre now, um, between that and Funeral Doom, and I've just been binging the shit out of them. It's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite of all time. And there we go. There we go. What did you think about that? Birdie? Birdie? He hates it. He fucking hates it. He says, where's Metallica? Where's Megadeth? Where's Slayer? Where's Amphrax? Where's Creator? Oh shit, I forgot all the fucking Frash Pants. Oh no. Where's, where's Obituary? All these comments are going to appear. Bet, bet your sweet little tight ass it will. Where the fuck is Metallica? You can't have a list like this without Metallica. <clears throat> Newsflash, dickwad. This is my list. These are my favourite albums of all time. And you can cry and pussy foot and piss your pants. Pull your pink panties on. Because, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, this is my list. And it's not going to change. It's just, it's opinions. So, yeah, this is an opinionated video. And if it triggers people, good. I'm excited. We've got more gigs planned, more crazy videos, more fun shit, and more black metal. So keep your asses sealed or open them for me. Whatever, whatever your deal. So let me know your favorite albums of all time down below. And we'll see you again in the new year. Shut the fuck up.